So this lad broke the world record for the longest time without going to sleep at 11 days. And what happened to him will blow your mind. It was December in 1964 and a 17 year old named Randy Gardner wanted badly to win his local science fair and was willing to place everything on the line for it. So he signed up with two of his friends to see how long they would last. But unfortunately, as he grew older, the payback was immense. Now, cognitive tests tests were done during the experiment to monitor how things were progressing and by just day two he was having difficulties focusing his eyes and recognizing objects by touch meaning if he was holding a banana in his hand and closing his eyes he was unable to recognize what he was holding and by day four he was irritated and uncooperative they said he had a really uncooperative significant memory lapses and a real difficulty concentrating and it was at this point when he started to have his first hallucination Firstly, imagining that a street sign was a person, and this was followed by a delusional episode where he believed a professional footballer was after him. Day 5 was followed with even more hallucinations. Others reported that he said he saw a path leading directly to a forest, though he was sat in a room. And on day 6, his speech was slowing down and he had difficulty recognising common objects. And by 7 and 8, his irritability was up even more his speech was now slurred and his memory lapses were getting far worse and by day nine he had periods of fragmented thinking and then simply not continuing it i guess forgetting where he would got to and by 10 he was experiencing paranoia and by day 11 he was simply expressionless his speech was really slurred he had to be encouraged to respond at all and his attention span was extremely limited all in all, his mental capacity was completely diminished. Some of the tests they were running, including counting back from 100 in multiples of seven, and towards the ending of the experiment, he was doing this, recounted a couple of subtractions, and then simply stopped. When others asked him why he'd stopped, he simply couldn't remember what he was doing. Something he'd been asked to do 20 seconds beforehand was simply gone. His short-term memory was obliterated. And so in the end, Randy stayed awake for 264 hours, just over 11 days. But I wouldn't recommend anybody try this. In fact, the Guinness Book of World Records have removed this record, which was subsequently broken, from their records simply because it's so dangerous for others to try to do that too. And Randy did end up recovering some of the sleep that was lost over the coming weeks. However, his experience really came back to haunt him as an adult. And it was into his middle age when he developed a debilitating insomnia. His personality was somewhat of a Jekyll and Hyde character. Apparently he was somebody just not nice to be around at all. And he attributed this all back to his early experiments with sleep deprivation, believing this had created something that caused him to have this insomnia in later life. And he did eventually get this under control and regained his sleeping patterns, after which he treasured his sleep, aiming for a solid eight hours every night. And though this is clearly an extreme case, what it goes to show us is that we can never be sure of the impact of sleep deprivation. There can be effects in the short term, which we may see quickly, but there are other effects which can occur far longer, which we simply don't know until it's too late. And poor sleep has been linked to things like Alzheimer's disease, cancer, and diabetes. So we really need to make sure that we're optimizing our sleep and not suffering from these risks too. And if you want to get some of the best night's sleep, click on to the next video where I'll give you some tips on just how to do that.